Hey everybody, it's Louie. I'm here once again with the Motorcycle Gear Experts at Jaffram, and today we're taking a closer look at some of the most popular open-faced helmet models. We're going to cover various styles from different price points, all of them available at Jaffram.com. Now, there are two main categories of three-quarter open-faced helmet styles that almost all of these helmets can be put into, retro or vintage, and touring. There's also a new emerging category of hybrid open-faced helmets, but they'll get their own video. Today we're going to look at seven successful designs, three retro styles, and four of the more sophisticated touring styles. All the helmets we'll check out today carry at least a DOT safety rating. Let's start with a few retro models. Now, the first helmet I want to show you today is the famed Bell Custom 500. Now, this is a retro or vintage style helmet that incorporates modern safety design, materials, and technology. Now, the Custom 500 is celebrating its 60th birthday and received a celebratory overhaul. Now, this new version has a whole new head shape combined with five individual EPSs, one for each size helmet, which helps the helmet look smaller on your head. I'd love to show you how much better it fits on my head, but this helmet has not been released yet as we're filming this video, so the sample is a medium, which is obviously not happening on my head. Now my friend Arfos though has a 22 inch head circumference and typically wears between a medium and a small. Now this medium fits well, it sits nice and low on his head. This redesigned shape is also more accommodating to oval head shapes like mine, where the previous version was very round. Now the Custom 500 is available in seven colorways, including this matte brown metallic, and in sizes extra small to double extra large. It features a retro looking quilted liner and snaps for adding face shield. As far as quality goes, this is going to be the top of the line in the retro segment and it carries a five-year warranty to back it up. The next helmet we're taking a look at is the Speed & Strength SS600. Now this helmet doesn't have quite the fit and finish that the Bell does, but it's still very nice looking, especially for the money, and available in some sick looking graphics, like this Rook Customs model. It has an ABS alloy shell as opposed to the fiberglass of the Bell, but while ABS possesses less impact absorption than fiberglass, it's more durable and does a better job of handling daily riding abuse. The price is also about 25% less in certain finishes. Now, the SS600 is available in sizes extra small to 2X, and like most retro open face helmets, it's designed for a round to intermediate oval head shape. I can wear it, but I need to go to a size larger than the fitment chart recommends for my head circumference. My head measures 23 and a half inches around, so I should fit in a large according to the chart, but I'd be pretty uncomfortable in anything smaller than this XL. Another feature not often found in the vintage segment is ventilation. Now, the SS600 features intake and exhaust vent ports to keep you cool and dry in warmer weather. Next, we have the value-priced HCI-10. Now, while this isn't one of the premium helmets in this retro category, it's a good value for the budget conscious. And I like to try to offer a full spectrum of price points so you can get the most helmet for the dollars in your pocket. It also makes it easier for you to see the differences between a value-priced helmet and a premium helmet. Like the other two retro helmets, this lid also has an intermediate oval head shape. Now, the fitment calls for an extra large for my head measurement, which is correct front to back, but there's a little bit too much room for side-to-side -side movement. Even with a rounder head, this helmet isn't going to have quite the precise fit of a premium helmet. Time spent on research and development translates into higher helmet cost. Perfection isn't the goal with value-priced helmets, affordability is. A couple of other features you'll have to do without are a wicking liner and ventilation. Also, my example here is only equipped with three snaps instead of five, which limits you a little bit on shield choice. There are obviously numerous other retro three-quarter helmet choices to consider as well. This is a rapidly growing market. If you have any questions about this helmet style, give our customer service a call at 1-877-GO-HELMET. The next group of helmets we're going to look at have a more modern styling, with modern features that are beneficial to a more touring-oriented rider. I'm going to show you four of my favorites, including two of the most premium choices available. First, we have the Shoei J Cruise. This is an ultra-premium choice from Shoei that really is one of the most feature-packed open-face helmets available today. Now, this helmet is designed to offer the wearer all of the best in each feature category. No cut corners with the J-Cruise. Uh, the fit of this helmet is exactly what you'd expect from Shoei. It's precise. You feel the firm grip of the helmet on your head, but there's no hot spots. The size chart calls for a large for my head, and this is definitely the right size. It's pretty snug for now, but remember, you lose about a third of a size to break in. It's available in a ton of colors, and the finishes on Shoei products are excellent. And one of the issues commonly had with open face helmets is buffeting and wind noise. Riders on all different style of bikes like open face helmets. So the challenge for the helmet manufacturer is creating a helmet that's going to ride smooth and quiet, regardless of the motorcycle's windshield or lack thereof. Now the J Cruise was designed in a wind tunnel and features like the ventilation, this new integrated air dam design on the optically correct shield, the spring-loaded base plates, and the twin blade eye port gasket 
work together to provide a surprisingly quiet ride. You're also getting premium features like an AIM shell with four shell sizes, a multi-piece EPS liner, and a retractable internal sunshade, not to mention the work of art that is the 3D Max Dry liner. The padding is actually contoured and constructed out of different thicknesses and densities of padding to provide the perfect fit. Next, we have another top-of-the-line selection from the touring segment of Open Face Helmets, the famed Arai XC. If you closed your eyes and had someone put this helmet on your head for you, you'd swear it was a full face. That's because of this unique shell design where the jaw area actually extends over an inch farther than the previous Arai Open Face models. The fit's a little bit rounder with the Arai than the Showy. I have a long oval head form though. So this helmet will fit great on most folks with more intermediate oval heads. Of course, it's an Arai, so you're getting a hand-laid fiberglass shell and a plush three-dimensional liner construction. There are two areas where the Shoei and the Arai do a give and take. Now, the Arai gets a Snell safety rating. The Shoei does not. Now, this definitely isn't a deal breaker for me, but I know that many riders get a lot of peace of mind from the Snell rating, so one point Arai. Now, the area where Shoei shines over the Arai is the shield system. There really is no comparison. There's so much featured tech put into this Shoei that they're gonna be really hard to catch. Every aspect of the Shoei shield system is smooth and refined. The Arise just isn't. Now, the shield's difficult to remove and the locking mechanism requires the wearer to tug firmly on fairly delicate base plate components. One point Shoei. Choosing between these two helmets would definitely be a tough job for any rider. I'm glad I don't have to do it. The last two helmets I wanna compare are the HJC FG Jet and the G-Max GM67S. Some might say that this is an unfair comparison because of the fairly dramatic difference in price points, but I look at it this way. Whatever the less expensive helmet gives up in quality, it makes up for in price, so they both get a point. Now, the fit between the two is very similar and accurate per the size chart, although some customers did complain that they had to return their G-Max for a bigger size. So if you're in between sizes, definitely pick the next one up. Now, the FG Jet has many truly top-of-the-line features, but at a price that's about a third of the Arai. It has a Kevlar and fiberglass composite weave shell that was designed in a wind tunnel, so the aerodynamics is quite good. And the ventilation also benefits from wind tunnel testing. Now, both of these helmets have well-designed drop-down visor systems, but I have to give this feature win to the HJC. Now, this sunshade system works great. Now, the shape of the visor and how far it goes down are crucial. If you're stuck looking at the bottom of a sunshade shade, you'll definitely get a headache. And the three-position shield on the FG works great. Now, the buttons are easy to use, and they've added a cushioned release to ease the noise. Now, the face shield system on the FG Jet is also quite nice. A simple push of this lever, and the shield pops right off, and reinstalling is just as easy. Now, the GM67S has its strong points as well. Now, where this helmet really shines is versatility. Now, this helmet can be set up with three different configurations. You can wear this helmet with a peak visor installed, a face shield, or you can purchase a supplementary chin bar setup that actually gives the helmet some full face style debris protection. Now, you also have the option of adding a rear light kit that can tap into your bike's brake light circuit, giving the helmet true brake light functionality. Now, the G-Max also has excellent ventilation, and the finish on these helmets is automotive quality. And there you have it, seven quality open-faced helmet offerings from Jaffram. To check out even more helmets, subscribe to this YouTube channel, Jaffram Videos, or click the link below to go to our website. Give our Facebook page a look-see, and remember, when it comes to our customers, we'll ride the extra mile. I'm Louie, and you'll see me next time.